All right, we're here with head coach Corey Griner to talk some Emory men's soccer. Coach, we're checking in after the first couple weeks, a uh, 1-0-2 start, a uh, win over Oglethorpe, uh, a couple ties against Washington Lee and Covenant. Uh, what's kind of your assessment of the team first, uh, through the first couple games? Uh, first couple games, um, certainly I think we're continuing to build. I think coming off of uh, COVID and not playing, uh, it's certainly, I think, a lot of excitement around the games and getting playing again. I think uh, uh, that part has been good. I think we're still kind of finding ourselves a little bit uh, uh, more as a team. Um, but so far I've been pretty pleased with some of the results, I think. But we've certainly been in every game, and uh, I think we would have liked to have seen maybe a couple more wins. Um, uh, being some of the ties, you know, I thought we had some opportunities to maybe uh, get a result in some of those games. But uh, uh, overall, uh, really good. I think we're, we're continuing to build, and I think uh, in a lot of ways having this past weekend off allowed us some time to gel a little bit more, um, uh, but also recover some guys that have little kind of nagging little injuries. And get healthy again. So, uh, really, really pleased so far with where we're at. I think we still have a little bit of work to do, but uh, we're certainly very anxious for uh, some upcoming games. Can you kind of talk a little bit about the defense? You know how it's been playing like the first couple of games. I mean, it's been really strong uh, through the first three. Only two goals allowed. Uh, one goal in each. Uh, Washington and, and Oglethorpe. Uh, kind of speak to that. How their guys, the, you know, that back line's kind of been playing. Uh, yeah, no, we've had some guys step up and, and play really well. I think, um, I, I think defensively, that's definitely uh, an area that I, I project uh, being a strength for us going forward. And in terms of our organization, and, uh, guys kind of filling in and covering for each other, and uh, stepping out and staying organized and communicating. All, all that has been uh, really, really good. Uh, in particular, I think uh, center back Luke uh, Price is really. Uh, kind of filled into a starting role. He's been very, very effective uh, utilizing some of his athleticism uh, as a center back. I think Berman, you know, Josh Berman's been uh, a fifth year uh, captain, uh, kind of figurehead for the, for the team for the past uh, few years. So uh, with those two kind of anchoring center back spots for us, uh, I, I feel pretty confident uh, with our group defensively. All right, then we kind of take a look at this weekend coming up, kind of two really good teams coming in, and Calvin and Lynchburg. Uh, you got Calvin coming in Friday night. Uh, let's kind of talk about them for a second here. You know, uh, really good team. You know, they've made a couple deep NCAA tournament runs recently. What can we kind of expect from the Knights on Friday? Yeah, no, so uh, first of all, we're super, super excited to have them. Uh, Calvin is a traditional kind of soccer powerhouse in Division Three, um, and uh, we're, we're very fortunate. Uh, and I, I feel very, very pleased that we're able to have them and host them uh, for what we expect to be a big Friday night match. So um, they are dynamic. They're really good. Um, uh, Attacking-wise, they've got some uh, very big and strong uh, guys playing in the back. Uh, so I anticipate this to be a very uh, good, good matchup for us against a nationally ranked opponent that is traditionally a powerhouse that should, uh, in, in my mind, in my hopes, uh, kind of prep us for what to expect when we run into our conference games in UAA, playing very traditionally strong programs. So uh, we're really excited. I think it's a huge opportunity. Uh, it's certainly, it's not going to be easy, uh, but uh, you know, nothing in life worth getting is easy. So. And then uh, on the second back-to-back, -back, you know, you got Lynchburg coming in on Saturday. What can we kind of expect from the Hornets? Uh, so Lynchburg, obviously, they uh, another very, very strong regional opponent. I think they're uh, nationally, I think they're receiving votes this week. Uh, well, they are another tr kind of traditionally very, very good program, and, and I think uh, they are going to be pretty organized. They know they're going to be well coached. They're going to be athletic, and, and certainly uh, they are going to give us fits uh, on Saturday. Uh, I do think probably on the second game of the weekend, I kind of anticipate it to be a little bit more uh, maybe of an ugly match. It's going to be just kind of a grinded out kind of game on, on you know, going back to back with uh, with two very good teams. So I, I kind of expect the game to be um, uh, a little bit kind of maybe a little bit more tactical uh, uh, and maybe not as open as uh, as maybe if we were both both teams were full fresh. So uh, really good. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be kind of a grindy game, um, but uh, you know that's that's kind of the nature of college soccer. All right. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, cool. coach, and uh, good luck this weekend. You got it. Thanks.